Hey folks, I'm here in Bend, Oregon with the experts in bullets. And I have got with me the reloading expert of, at least of Nosler, probably of Oregon, maybe of the country, <laughs> right Dakota? Yep, yep, I'd like to think so. Okay, so Dakota Christian is with me. He is the, well you are the QA, QC supervisor. That's correct, yep, and I run at, the ballistics lab too here at Nosler, so load data that's in the manuals and online. We do all that, new powders, new cartridge development, all that stuff goes through down there at the lab. So You work three shifts to do all We that? do three shifts. No, uh, you. We, we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've come close. <laughs> We've put in some time, a lot, a lot of other times. Mm. But now, most of the time we run two shifts in the lab full, and then uh, if we're doing load data, a lot of the time that runs into sometimes later, just because the production side of it um, takes up most of the time in actual shooting time over there. Yeah. So we've got guys, so it's three guys in the lab that shoot and reload full time. So Really? Yep. How do you get that job? <laughs> I get that Secret, question a huh? lot on the tour. <laughs> Everyone says, you've got the best job in the world. <laughs> reloading well, and shooting. Job. Yep, reloading and shooting. That's there exactly you have it, right. folks. There are jobs in the world where you get paid to reload and shoot, and your employer will even pay for all your components. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a dream job for me for sure, and it always has been. I've been involved in it for a long, long time, and uh, it's it's great to be with a company that is so uh, involved in, in quality and hunting and, and premium products that you know it's it uh, definitely took a lot of the learning curve out of it for me coming here and and learning from some of the people that have been here doing it far longer than I have. Yeah. So, well, it's, last winter. You and I were at SHOT Show, mm -hmm. I believe it was, and I was talking to you about reloading. Mm -hmm. And I told you that I didn't reload, and you looked at me like, what? <laughs> Someone who shoots as much as you doesn't reload. Hey, yep, you hunt and shoot a lot. And it was almost like Dakota saw me as some missionary work he needed hey. to do. What we're gonna do with this, folks, we're gonna take all these components you see and Dakota is going to show us how it becomes this, that you feed your rifle. We're going to take it step by step by step. Yep. You, the expert, Dakota, is going to make sure that you don't have to go through as many mistakes as I probably will. So with that, the one thing you're going to hear, folks, as we do this start to finish, and you were pretty... Uh, how would I say adamant about this when we were talking last winter is consistency, repeatability, and very fine tolerances. That's, are they can are, are that that's what we're striving to get here, whether it's in the powder, whether it's in mm -hmm. the brass, yep. whether it's in the bullet. Yep, absolutely. Whether it's in the equipment that's used to measure yep. all the pieces, all the components. Yep, repeatability, that's what it creates. So, and obviously you're trying to place a, a projectile a long ways out oftentimes onto a really small target. So you need every, every advantage you can get. So one of the things you're gonna find with Dakota is good enough isn't good enough. He's Perfect pretty close. particular, yeah. We all know that perfection is a pursuit. It's a place we're trying to get. Well, Dakota tries very hard to get there. When you decide, all right, I wanna reload. You, you, your mind all of a sudden says, this is going to be a project. This mm -hmm. isn't something that I can do in 10 minutes and catch on to it and be done. Mm -hmm. You're making an investment in your time. Hopefully that investment pays dividends yeah, when you're done. Yeah. And here we've got reloading manuals, we've got powders, we've got bullets, we've got brass, we've got primers, we've got all kinds of things here. Mm -hmm. And every one of these, these serve an important purpose. What I wanna do for the viewer is to go into more detail and if mm -hmm. we gotta make that whole question one video, that's what we'll do. Yeah. If you're good with that. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. I think that's, let's take it piece by piece and uh, break it down. If you have questions or, or think anything's relevant, stop me, ask uh, me questions on it and, and see, there's a reason why I do it that way probably. And oftentimes I don't relay that. So same well, time, hit me up. Uh, I'm going to stop you, but don't laugh at me when okay. I ask dumb questions. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's I, fair. I'm good at asking dumb questions. So. That's fair. All right. There you have it, folks. That's the goal in this whole series. Every day we're gonna post a new video that is another part, another step in this process. So when it's all done, you feel comfortable 
that you can come and do the same thing that you see here and you'll have a 308 with a wonderful AccuBomb bullet that will go and kill your elk this year.